Welcome back. It's not like Selection Sunday in March Madness, but today was a close second for our area high school boys basketball teams as this year's draw for the 2014 Pizza Hut Classic took place. There was plenty of pizza and basketball talk Tuesday at Terre Haute South as the high school coaches and administrators from the 16 schools involved in this year's Pizza Hut Classic were awaiting the draw for this year's first round matchups. This year's tourney starts with the last two winners of the event and 2012 champions Rockville against 2013 champs Terre Haute South. I mean, you say every game matters and every game means the same, but the start of the year, you know, you, you ask kids to write down their goals. Every single one of them says win the Classic. We're still familiar enough with South and the days that we've uh, had some success against them that, you know, confidence shouldn't be an issue for us. Owen Valley beat West Vigo three times one season ago, and for the second year in a row, the Patriots and Vikings will meet in the first round of the Classic. This is the fifth time we will have faced Owen Valley in a little over a season and a half, so we're very familiar with each other. I'm actually getting ready to take a picture of that trophy and send it to all my guys. Guys. Linton is coming off a great two-year run, yet hasn't gotten the results the last couple of years they wanted in this tourney. The Miners hope to turn that around this year when they open against South Vermillion. We won the consolation bracket last year, which um, the only thing I can tell you is you don't want to win the consolation bracket. <laughs> it, it's better than losing, but at the same time, you want to be in the you want to win the day one, you know and. We haven't, we haven't had success on day one. A pair of small schools meet in game four of the opening day as Casey Westfield takes on Shackamack. The Battle of Illinois will take place at Terre Haute South between Robinson and Marshall. No one knows the Lions better than former Marshall player and now Robinson coach Mac Thompson, who has already done some serious scouting on this year's Lions team. He scouted us four times now, and we played four games, so uh, they're pretty familiar with us, and I think we're pretty familiar with them, too. Coach Brandon pretty much runs the same things he did 20 years ago when I played for him. Uh, every time he calls a play, I, I'm running through it in my mind, uh, just like I did 20 years ago. Game six is another WIC showdown as Sullivan takes on Northview. The Knights have been in the Final Four each of the last couple of years and are looking to take that next step this season. Both times we felt really, really well about the way that we played. Uh, when we stepped away from the tournament. So from that standpoint, uh, we've had a tremendous amount of success with that the last couple of years. Terre Haute North drew Turkey run. No one's won this tourney more than the Patriots, but the current group of North players know it's been a couple of years since the school's last title in 2011. That's something that we talked about all off season in the weight room or when we were out on the track or when we were in our preseason drills. We didn't feel like we finished the game well last year. Despite being new to the tourney, Class 2A 12th ranked Cloverdale is one of the favorites coming in. The Clovers take on River to Park, a team they just beat by 42 on Saturday. I just hope we show up after that. Since we know what we're facing, I hope we all our kids show up to play because they're pretty good. You try to do things to reward your players, and I think one of the greatest rewards is to play in the Pizza Hut Classic. 